in the process of cultivating our awareness, the experience of the present moment becomes more significant or more meaningful in that as time goes on, we realize that the present moment is the only thing. And this irony of we're aware of the flow of time, we're aware that there's this notion of the arrow of time moving forwards and never backwards and this experience of being in this flow of this ever-changing world that we live in gives us the perception that that time is this flowing river so to speak and while every moment is a new expression of that time every moment is also always the present moment it's this like funny watch that just says now 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 on all of the uh, hands of the watch because it's an important reminder that while there are important things to reflect on in the past or important things to plan for in the future and we can have a balance of that while still being in the present moment doing whatever it is and, and tending to the experience that's happening right now and there's a lot to be said for being present. I don't feel that necessarily um, going to the this the spiritual places is what you need to attain this awareness of the present moment. There's a lot to be said just for wherever you are in your life to just be aware of what's going on around you and then to start to refine that awareness of the present moment so that you're experiencing yourself in tune with the flow of life around you. And whether that means just being more present in your body, being more aware of your posture, of your breathing. In Buddhism, there's the practice uh, in, in meditation or in, in the Zen practice of just paying attention to the rising and falling of the breath, the sensation of the breath in the nostrils. And then the extension of that practice throughout daily life is to just always be aware of your breathing, to never um, falter from that state of awareness where you are not aware of your breathing. And this takes a lot of practice. This is like a, a simple example of how could you possibly always be aware of your breath, which is an automatic function. And the Buddha has this um, simple way of saying it where you just have this awareness of, oh, that was a short breath or, oh, that was a long breath. And if you're breathing, you know, if you're relaxed and your breathing is shallow, that's okay. It's it's not necessarily about just labeling or if it is a label, it's not about judging the label. It's just about recognizing, oh, that this is that and that was this. And so th this is just an example of how to cultivate awareness in a way that's practical for all of us. Like we can all become more aware of our breathing throughout the day and the benefits of that are compounding over time and that this is probably one of the simplest ways to build our awareness of everything around us so anytime this is a simple one anytime you're going to enter a room just remember to take three deep breaths before you open the door to that room and this can help reset your energy bring yourself into the state of presence and as you have a practice of focusing on your breathing, say on a regular basis, um, in in a, a practice of some kind throughout, um, say say your mornings or your evenings, then you'll bring that awareness and that connection to your practice just through taking a couple deep breaths or just even just paying attention to your breath in this mindful way throughout the day. So that's a simple way of cultivating awareness in real time, moment to moment, as we practice being present to the now, the experience of right now, because that's all that there ever is.